Hi, in this video, I want to show you these floss picks. These are by Oral B. They are the Glide floss picks, and they have like a scope flavor. So, scope is a, is a mouthwash. Scope at last, long lasting mint. Let's go ahead and try these out. So, I'm a person that is always buying floss picks. I always buy them because I floss pretty much after every meal. And so, sometimes I won't floss after lunch, but like today, I just had lunch a little while ago and I flossed. So, all right, let's open it up. A little bit hard to open initially. Smells really good. Oh yeah, that's a really good smell. And this is what they look like, Oral-B. It's got a little thing here which you can use to like pick stuff out of your teeth, which is actually pretty good. Oh wow, that's pretty good. I never actually use these because they're never very good, but this seems pretty good. Now, if you look at the thread here, this reminds me of uh, other, other floss pick by Oral-B. And also, uh, there's another brand called Plackers. They make one called Gentle Slide, and it looks kind of like this. So one of the things with Gentle Slide and with the other Oral-B ones is sometimes they do break, they're not invincible, but these tend to go, like this design tends to go between your teeth a little bit easier than some of the other ones. I, I, again, I've tried almost pretty much every single floss pick there is uh, because I floss after every meal. So let's go ahead and floss. So you just go between each tooth. I do it quickly because I floss so much. Unless I have like a steak or some meat, then I take my time and make sure I get everything out of my teeth. I have pretty good teeth. I mean, my teeth aren't great. I mean, they're, they're okay. I don't have any cavities. I used to. I don't use any whitening other than like toothpaste, but I ran out. So I can take really good care of my teeth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Almost done. And that's it. And it didn't break, but it will break, right? You see how it's starting to see how it's starting to like wither away. I bet I can break it. Let's see. No, it's holding up, but it will break. It will break on you, right? It's it's a little bit. The design of this floss pick, I just experience, right, tends to break. The really thin floss picks, you know, like the ones that aren't as good as these, that sometimes like. They're really hard to get between your teeth. Those tend to last, they tend to not break sometimes, but yeah, works pretty well. Happy with my purchase. Uh, one thing I should mention about these, and this is something that's true about all floss picks, is I actually leave the bag open. So I'll take the bag and I'll, and I'll put it inside like my, um, my bathroom thing and I'll leave the bag open. And um, the reason is sometimes when I grab these, my hands are a little wet and water gets in here. You don't want water to get in here. You don't want to close it and you get a bunch of wet, disgusting floss picks. So I leave it open in case a little bit of water gets in it's able to dry. So I just basically set it, you know, in my bathroom. Um, I have like a mirror behind the mirror and I just grab one after I brush my teeth and then floss. And I try not to get any water in there. So be careful trying to get water in the bag. It's really annoying. But yeah, you get 75 total. So it should last me for a little while. I use one floss pick um, after every meal, three meals a day. So yeah, it should last me a while, right? So if I did three a day, oh, well, that'd be 90 floss picks a month if there's 30 days in a month. So yeah, it might not last me a month, but. I have more, so I bought a bunch. Anyways, it's good stuff. They go easily between your teeth, so that's a big pro. Um, it didn't break on me, but I, I do think these could break with repeated use, but I honestly don't think it's a big deal. Uh, it's not that common, so yeah. Happy with my purchase. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.